Question one from the exam paper from last semester. Uh, it looks to me to be a cash flow question. Let's have a look down here at the requirements. It says prepare a operating section of cash flow statements as at 30th of June 2017 using the direct method. Okay, so all we're required to produce is the operating section. We're not asking for any more. So now I look through here, there's my balance sheet, including my assets, liabilities and equity. I've got my um, income statement here and I've also got some additional information there. So let's now just, just so I know what I'm supposed to be looking at and ticking off, I'm going to classify these into operating, financing and investing. So my accounts receivable is an operating, my inventory is operating, and I've got prepaid expenses here which is operating. I've got land which is investing, equipment which is investing, and accumulated depreciation goes with equipment. Um, in my liability section, I've got accounts payable which is operating, accrued expenses payable which is operating, income tax payable which is also operating. I've got notes payable which is non-current, so that's financing. Share capital is financing and retained earnings is financing. Okay, now I've got my income statement. Now my income statement is all operating. Um, all operating. But I'm just going to have a scan through here. I've got revenue, cost of sales, operating expenses, include depreciation expense. I'm just going to note that that's non-cash. So I don't have to do that part of my... Um, Statements, I'll tick that off. And I've got a loss on the sale of store equipment. Loss on sale, okay, that's also a non-cash item. All right, and I'm going to tick that one off as being sort of done as well. Let's have a look at my additional information. Uh, in 2017, Indian Pacific declared and paid a cash dividend of 64000 That's financing. Notes were issued at a face value of 180000 in cash. These are a long-term source of buys. That's also financing. Equipment costing 360000 was purchased for cash. Um, and equipment costing 40000 was sold for 34000 cash with a carrying amount of um, 36000 That's investing. And that's investing. And the last one is ordinary shares of 200000 were issued to acquire land. The vendor or seller of the land received shares for the payment of land. So no mention of cash in there. So it's a non-cash. So I, because I'm only doing the operating section, I don't have to worry about these just in, uh, in this question. They're given to you, but it's there to make sure that you understand the difference between the two. All right, so now I'm going to start trying to work out how much cash went through my accounts receivable. So let's have a look here. Accounts receivable. So I'm going to reconstruct my account. Accounts, oh, slide that down a fraction so you guys can see. So I've got my accounts receivable. I had an opening balance of 30000 and a closing balance of twenty-four. So I'm over here, open 30000 and a closing of 24000 So I can tick those two off and my accounts receivable is now done. Um, now what increases my accounts receivable? Well that's sales. So I've got my sales down here of um, 1,950,000. So I'm going to tick that off. Sales, 1,950,000. And now I'm going to balance my account. What that becomes, that's 19850 800 And I've got 1,900, 1,980,000. Now, the cash that I've received must be the difference between these two. So uh, cash collected uh, should be, what's that, 1956? 1956,000. And that's going to become interesting to me because I'm going to put that in my cash flow statement. 
uh, ticked off my accounts receivable. Next one on my list is uh, inventory. So I'm going to now work out the cash flow through my inventory account. So let's build that again. So my inventory, my opening balance in my inventory is 320,000 and my closing balance is 260. and my close is 260. Now what increases my inventory is obviously my purchases um, but I don't know that at the moment, I don't know what my purchases are but I do know what decreases my inventory is my cost of sales. So I'm down here at my cost of sales which is 13, uh, 1,320,000 so cost of sales, one, three, two, zero. Now if I balance that out, that gives me one five eight zero. Oh. And I've got one five eight zero oh here. Now the difference that must be between these two must be my purchases. Which is how much is it? Twelve sixty thousand. Now that's not cash flow because we can have credit purchases but what that assists me in doing is helping me solve my accounts payable. So I'm looking for how much cash flow went through my accounts payable. So now I'm down into my liabilities area down here. So I've got an opening balance of 120 and a closing balance of 104. So I've got opening out obviously payables or is our liability side. So I've got 120,000 and I've got a close over here of 104,000. Now what increases my accounts payable is obviously my purchases. So my purchases are from here, they're going to go down to here. And my purchases are 1260,000 because what I'm looking for is my cash paid for my accounts payable and that'll give me 1380 and I'll balance that off on this side 1380 uh, now the difference must be uh, paid what I paid to my suppliers and what's my difference 100 that's 12 that's 1276 Okay, so I've got 1276. Now that figure is going to become of interest to me because um, that's going to go into my cash flow statement. Alright, so I can tick off that. Now I'm going to look at all my other operating items. I've got a prepaid expenses over here and I've got an accrued expenses, so that's going to help me. Those two are going to help me determine my cash flow through my operating expenses. So let's do that. Um, uh, first we'll do prepaid expenses. So I've got my prepaid expense. My opening was 16, my closing was 12. 16, closing was 12. Now I just want to know how much of that went to my OPEX or operating expenses. So I'm going to close it off to 16. 16 on this side, so that must be my operating expense was 4,000, so 4,000 of my operating came from prepaid and I'm going to do my accrued expenses and my accrued expenses are down here my accrued expenses payable I should call them and obviously these are on the liability side so I've got an opening balance of 40 and a closing balance of 30. So my open is 40,000 and my close is 30,000. So if I balance that off, that's 40 there and 40 there. So that must mean that I've got a operating expense of 10,000. Now once again we can't determine any cash flow there because our cash flow will go through my operating expenses. Now I noticed that I didn't tick off these two which I've used already, prepaid. Okay. So 
So that just leaves me with my operating expenses down here, the cash flow, uh, well not cash flow, but there's an amount of 352. So let's have a look at operating expense. And my operating expense, um, I'm going to now, now because this is a debit on this side, it becomes a credit on this side. So my accrued, is 10,000 and because it's a credit on this side it becomes a debit on this side so that's my prepaid uh, and what is it for 4,000 now my expenses are always a debit in my income statement or in my trial balance I should say so but there'll be a credit in this and it's part of my P&L summary which is, what did I say, it was 352000 Now if I balance these accounts off, I should get a cash flow, 362 And I've got 362 as my balance here. So this must be what I paid then. And the difference... Sorry, Mark, where did you get the uh, 352000 352000 came from my operating expenses down here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so, so part of my P&L. Yeah. Okay, so uh, where did I get to? 358000 And I'm going to highlight that amount because that's going to be of interest to me when I complete my cash flow for operating section. Now, have I done everything yet? Uh, up, 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 up. Yep. Up, up. Oh, we've got income tax payable. So I've got a income tax payable um, so I want to work out how much do I pay for income tax this um, year. My opening balance is nil and my closing balance is uh, 24000 I'll tick off that and I'll tick off that. Now what obviously increases my tax payable is my tax expense, which I'm getting down from here in my income tax expenses. So it's 72,000. Uh, so that'll increase my payables, which is over this side. Um, tax expense. If I balance this account off, I should get 72 on this side. And then I'll leave 72 on this side, which must mean I paid uh, $48,000. And that becomes of interest to me as well for completing my cash flow statement. So that's, uh, that's the hard work. I've, uh, uh, just make sure. Uh, what have I got here? That's a total. So I can, okay, I've ticked that one off. Profit's a total, so I can tick that one off. That number's just a total. I've got all my income statement. I've got all my operating items here and here. There was no operating items in my additional information. So now I can now create a cash flow statement or an operating section cash flow statement. So let's do that. So operating section. Uh, um, Indian Pacific. Limited cash flow statement. Uh, for year ended. What was the year ending? It was the 30th of June 2017. Let's pull that down. And I'm doing my operating activities. Now the first thing I want in my operating activities is my cash collected. So my cash collected from my customers is 1956000 Is $19,56. Right. Next one is my payments to my suppliers. So that's um, $12,76,000.
Now I'm going to denote that <coughs> it's a payment by bracketing the figure so that when I go to add it up later I realise which way it's going. I've got uh, operating expenses down here of 358000 358000 Once again I'm going to bracket to indicate cash outflow. And my last one is my income tax payable of 48000 Taxes paid of 48000 Now, have I got them all? One, two, three, four. Yep, got them all. So I'm going to get a total now. Uh, I've got 19.56 minus 12.76 minus 3.58 minus 48 equals 274,000. Can you guys see that there on there? Yep, 274,000. And that completes your cash flow statement for Indian Pacific.